Hello, thanks for joining me for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 27th of September. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now I'm going to give you an overview of the major strands of this week before going on to give you your specific in-depth forecast. And of course the week begins with Mercury going into a retrograde in the sign of Libra. Well, of course, Libra in energy is all about balance, and the sign is an air sign, so about communication. And, of course, the winged messenger is all about talk and thought. So it's around our relationships that we're really going to have to work hard, not just to when the retrograde finishes, but from when Mercury emerges from shadow on the 3rd of November. In fact, it's been in shadow in this location since the 6th of October. So also this week, Mercury is squaring up with Pluto. Pluto is the planet of passion and of change and of truth. And it may be in our professional situation that it's those relationships that prove to be particularly uh, difficult or tricky. So keeping the lines of communication open is crucial. But of course, Mercury is uh, a planet uh, in the sign of Libra, but it's not the only one. The Sun and Mars are in Libra too, and they're both forging a very constructive link to Saturn in the sign of Aquarius, another air sign, and the sign of friendship. So those ties or bonds or associations which are collaborative, cooperative and constructive can actually go from strength to strength. So don't see Mercury retrograde as being all bad because also Mercury this week is forging a gorgeous alliance to the planet of fortune Jupiter and this is one of those really uplifting uh, angles that can really give us a lot of support and in this case to articulate our ideas and to see the good in situations I think that's going to be really helpful. Now there is a quarter moon on Wednesday in the emotional sign of Cancer and if there is somebody around us that is finding it a little bit more difficult to interact in the way that we want, then we may need to work at this a little harder from then. But also this week, Venus, the second half of the week, forges a very deep and passionate angle to Pluto. And I think this again is just going to remind us of the quality of certain associations but also it can be very good from a financial viewpoint. So if you're working on something and it is requiring a lot of uh, skill, a lot of nous, a lot of acumen, then any kind of relationship around the business world that is based on finances, where the lines of communication are open, can also prove fruitful. If you're new to me or my channel, I'd be honoured if you'd subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, you can sign up for your free written daily horoscope to be fired to your device each morning. Please see the subscription link beneath this video. I write for many newspapers and websites around the world, including Britain's most read newspaper, The Metro. So it would be a pleasure for you to join me too. And finally, with year 2022 racing up, if you'd like to get your forecast for next year and you order it now, you can get the rest of 21 free, plus a character analysis and 30% off, all based on your unique birth data. So gain searing insights of the opportunities ahead, but also where to steer clear of challenges. Please see the link below. Hello Leo and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 27th of September. Big talking point, Mercury retrograde of course, and it is particularly relevant for your sign I feel because Mercury in the third house really does govern anything to do with technology. So whether it's your mobile phone, your laptop, PC, tablet, uh, any other mode of software and communicational equipment, then it's, it is possible that maybe you're going to have to keep an eye on those things. Mercury's actually stressed by its angle with Pluto this week, third six. So a, a lot of extra nervous energy can also be created. 
and particularly if you actually try to do too much too quickly, the quarter moon on Wednesday also suggests that somebody around you may be a bit leaky around something that you tell them in confidence. So I'd keep your cards close to your chest, but also a good time to tune out of the white noise of all the different strands of information that are uh, competing for our attention these days. If you can draw things in and focus on the things that are truly important to you, and that could be your interrelations with key people, the fantastic link between Mercury and Jupiter, the Sun and Saturn and Mars and Saturn are all fabulous opportunities to have really important conversations where you can be clear, the other person can be clear, you can understand where each of you are coming from, but it will be important to follow up on things in a very proficient and efficient way because with Mercury retrograde, you know, messages could go awry or you know that kind of situation where you think, I haven't heard from so-and-so, why is that? You go to your phone and realise that the text message you wrote out to them didn't send because you, know, you were just in a slight uh, off spot for Wi-Fi or whatever. So those type of things can happen a lot with Mercury retrograde, but there's so much going on this week that's very positive. You could have some very constructive conversations if you uh, choose to do so. Also, Venus continues in your sector of the home and family and emotional matters. Some redecoration is always something that calls out to the transit of Venus in the fourth house. But because Venus in Scorpio is so deep and passionate, it's linked to the more practical part of your situation. Maybe you're going to have a chat with someone in your family or you know, one of the people in your world that you really respect and, re and rely upon in some ways, who, you know, is very nurturing, but also knows you well, doesn't flannel, just tells it as it is, but is very caring. So that conversation may be very uplifting towards the end of this week. But with Saturn and Jupiter still in retrograde in your sector of relating, Saturn being the planet of restriction, Jupiter the planet of expansion, but both in retrograde, uh, it is important until uh, next month when they go forward to work hard at those communications. But I think the Sun and Mars give you a chance to be really passionate, direct and exact this week, as long as you can push out all the peripheral stuff around you.